hyperbolic propensity of purple salmon theory is something that's honestly pushed away a lot of newcomers for a long time, but I'm here to say that everything can be okay if you're ready to reject the false teachings. Hey, this is Josiah David Wergo. Today I'm going to be talking about the ways that you can actually enlighten yourself and stop believing the bullshit about the false purple salmon theory. I've been getting a lot of letters about this lately. and People are like, look up purple salmon theory. When are you going to talk about purple salmon theory? Purple salmon theory this, purple salmon theory that. And it's like, dude, I don't, I don't have time for this bullshit. But I, I looked it up, you know, because of... And it's, it's a bunch of baloney. First of all, purple salmon theory? Like, I know I've, I've had my own fair share of trends that I've gotten swept away in. Uh, but come on, purple salmon theory? Am I just getting old? Like, what is this? Purple salmon theory? So I just think it's... I just don't really think that it's very, um... Like, okay, when you hear purple salmon theory, first of all, what does it even stir to mind? For me, I think of a bunch of salmon and get this, they're purple, okay? Uh, that's silly, right? Don't you hear that and you go, I want to eat a sandwich. What is this? I, <laughs> I'm looking at buildings and trees and thinking to myself down to my knees. And it's like purple salmon theory is just not for me. Stay safe out there, guys.